Stitches Creates, and welcome to a special unboxing of the Black Needle Society's January 2023 Cozy Kitchen Box. It came yesterday while I was away. I have just un... I haven't even... You can tell I haven't even opened it because it's so tight. So let's get started. Um, so this is a special unboxing, just in case you didn't know. And Cozy Kitchen. Uh, oh, fun. So on the back, we always have some featured photos. And yay, I made it. <laughs> and Lit Stitcher. And then we've got the Stitchy Zookeeper. So congratulations to everyone who made the back. Um, and then, of course, inside... The next box that's on sale, not the next box that's coming, um, that will be May, is Stitch Like a Flamingo. The next box in March is um, The Garden. So let's get started. Ooh, we have Carrie Lee's Specialties Pancake and Waffle Mix. That's cool. Ah, I'm dropping it. So, it says, do, 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 Pancake and Waffle Mix, made by Carrie Lee's Specialties. Whether you're a seasoned chef or baker or a novice who tends to stay away from the kitchen, this mix is super easy to use to create a hot breakfast during a cold winter morning or breakfast for dinner, which my mom used to love to do that because we never all sat down for breakfast. And so a lot of times on the weekend, we would have like pancakes for dinner and that was always fun. Very cool. So that, that looks yummy. Okay. We've got some early morning stitching lemon pound cake melts. And let's see, do, 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 do. early morning stitching wax melts made by the Black Needle Society. What's better than working up to waking up to delicious smells wafting from the kitchen? This lemon pound cake scented wax melt is something we wouldn't want mind waking up to in the morning and sitting down with a slice and some stitching. So that'll be very nice in my my warmer. Okay, we've got our needle minder. Now, as if you've watched before, you can rip here or you can just pop them open. It's just as easy. It actually gives you a little e bit extra to pull it apart. Let's see. <laughs> Mix Master. That's cute. Um, mix Master Needle Minder designed by the Black Needle Society. It looks like someone has an interesting recipe for a new cross stitch project. Do you create your own color palettes like a Mix Master? So, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm going to throw them on real quick to see. And it looks like those are skeins of floss in the mixing bowl. So, very cool. <laughs> That's fun. And then I'll grab in our specialty floss. So, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Fiberlicious. Look at those colors. We've got cinnamon rolls. Can't grab it this morning. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And then we've got baked apple. See now, if you watch me on a regular basis, I've been, I'm gonna start for my birthday, 
I'm going to start one of the elemental dragons from in ink circles. And I think I'm starting with going to start with fire, which I'm an Aquarius water sign. We won't go there. But anyway, so I was thinking about using cottage garden threads, which I've already got packed up. But wouldn't that be pretty awesome, too, for the fire dragon? I'm, I'm going to have to use that. I may have to do all my photo challenge early so I can use that. That's gorgeous. So fiberlicious, yummy fibers. And um, scrumptious specialty floss, dyed by fiberlicious, yummy fibers, thread liquors. We regret to inform you that this floss will not taste as delicious as the name sound, but they are gorgeous and dyed just for our January stitchers. See. Oh, we've got recipe cards. So I'll read while I open it. I'll read to you what it says. Um, recipe thread cards, artwork by Heather Gretton. Thank you so much to our brand new rep team for sharing some of their favorite family and personal recipes with us and our January stitchers. We hope you'll enjoy spending some time whipping up a couple of these dishes. We've also had them punched for, to use as thread cards. So there's a hole at the top and the bottom. It's a big thread card, but you know, whatever. So we've got the Chunk and Dump Crock-Pot Chicken Suit from Kate Johnson. She's on Instagram at U2More, U2TOO More. We've got Chicken Stuffed Shells from Allison Norris, who's Cat 13 on Instagram. We've got Crock-Pot Pizza from Cece Gilmore, who is CC Java Pearl on Instagram, and she is GK. She's got a bunch of initials, and I would put them down here um, because she had a podcast with her daughter before she... Um, switched over to floss tube and they knit and do wonderful things and they have an adorable cat pearl we've got enchiladas from jen of um stitchy friends on instagram and youtube we've got nans pavlova from chloe who is miss chloe um sw on Instagram and as part of Fortunate Flossies on FlossTube. She is in Australia. If you are not familiar with pavlova, it is a wonderful dish. It is a traditional um, Christmas treat for Australians and it's a meringue base with fruit in it and it's awesome. Two, three, four biscuits from Pippa Brown who is uh, Pippa Brown SM on Instagram, and she is also Pippa Brown on Floss Tube. We've got Mum's Rolled Beklava, which is from Liz, who is Stitched by Liz on Instagram and YouTube. She is also from Australia, but she has Greek roots. I can't wait to try that. Steak Marinade from Katie Landis, who is our Black Needle Society. Mom's Coffee Cake from Laura Landis, who is Pattern Queen 3 on Instagram. She is part of the Pattern Queens on Floss Tube, and of course is Katie's mom, also Black Needle Society. And then I flipped to last Grandma Galati's Fig Cookies. If you like Fig Newtons, they're your thing. If you have any questions on how to do the recipe, if I didn't explain it right, because this one's mine, let me know. <laughs> but all fun recipes, we have been, we shared them a while ago, so some of us have been testing out some of them. Okay. Oh, look at this. Ooh. A finishing piece. Look at that. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finishing board. We are so excited to send you this handmade horn book that can be used to finish this month's pattern. Because of their shape, horn books remind us of breadboards and pizza peels. 
We thought it would be fit perfectly with this month's theme and be an adorable addition to your kitchen or home decor. So that's awesome. Thank you, Black Needle Society. Um, so we've got a crafty apron, and I'll read it before I hold it up. Um, and this is by, oh, the horn book, I'm sorry, the finishing board, it was made by Stitch Etc. And the crafty apron is dyed, designed by Alex, oh my goodness, Ovsianikov. I'll spell it out here. While you can use this in the kitchen to keep your outfit clean, we also recommend using it while crafting and or finishing your stitching projects. Laura does a fair amount of sewing at home, and she always wears a craft apron to keep stray threads from sticking to her outfits. That's a fabulous idea. This apron also includes a handy pocket for keeping your crafting tools close by. So, it says, eat, sleep, stitch, repeat. So, and that's on the pocket. great. Very cool. And let's see. We have a reusable bag that says Stitch Snack Carry On. Isn't that beautiful? These are great. So that you're not always, you know, throwing baggies away. Um, Stitch and Snack Reusable Zip Bag designed by the Black Needle Society. Whether you want to use this bag for storing stitching accessories or for keeping your snack fresh, this bag is perfect to take along on a snacking outing. Sorry, on a stitching outing. Um, it's reusable and washable and can take the place of a disposable plastic bag. My daughter likes to use these. So that's, that's great for when I go to keepsakes for the day. I can, you know, put my snack in my stitching bag and not have to worry about it. And then our last thing is our pattern. Oh, and it's by Meridian Designs and it's called Strawberries and Cream. Isn't that pretty? And look at it's finished on the horn book. So this is 66 by 70, so not, not too bad. It does have quite a few colors to get all the, the detail there. And it says, Strawberries and Cream Pattern Designed by Meridian Designs. Who else needs to find a strawberries and cream cupcake recipe now? We do, but the recipe to stitch up this adorable design was made just for our January stitchers. Thank you so much to Karen for creating this one for our box. We can't wait to eat, I mean, stitch this adorable pattern. So there you go. That is cute. That is a great kitchen pattern too. I love it. All right. So another great box. Um, so thank you, Katie, Laura, and the team for a wonderful box. Um, just to remind you, if you go to purchase something the, from the vault, uh, I, extra items from the nice list are currently in the vault. Extra items from this box won't go in the vault until probably March 1st. Anything you buy from the vault, you can use my code LYNN5 to get 5% off your purchase. It helps save a little bit. Um, and you can use that all year long. Also on sale right now, until January 31st is the Frogwarts Retreat. It's a box, but it's also a digital retreat. It happens in July from Wednesday to Sunday. I believe it's July 12th or 14th. It's in that area. I'll put the dates here. <laughs> um, I'm going this year, so it's a lot of fun. It's Harry Potter themed. Uh, this is year four and so that means just a couple more, and then there'll be a live in-person retreat for that. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. 
Tomorrow I will have Monday will be my regular uh, floss tube. So until then, happy stitching everyone. Bye.